I'm telling you guys, you are so going to dig our new crib. It's really cool. And it's a chance for us to make a fresh start. Right here. I honestly can't remember a time my sister and I didn't cling to each other like Velcro. God, we slept in the same crib till we were four. <laughs> Cool. So, what do you think? Wow, that's dark. You want the limelight? I want to be in Twilight. Were you too aware of the story before you got the script for this film? It's kind of like a baby view, really, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, I hadn't heard of it at all. Um, obviously, I, I don't even know if it was reported in England, and I was very young at the time that it actually happened. Um, so no, I didn't know anything about it at all. I developed the script as a television movie from the book, The Class Project by Bob Mitchell, so I knew the book, but it never got publicized in the United States, which is fascinating to me, given that if it had happened in Los Angeles, the story would have been on TMZ and National immediately. They also would have given away the identities of the girls. I mean, we would know immediately who they were, and I'm stunned that the Canadian press has lives up to their standards and has, I don't know who the girls are, I really don't. I've never been able to find their identity anywhere online, which is amazing. That is amazing these days. And, um, but have you, so you haven't heard any, uh, after making this movie, have you heard any information about what they're up to, aside from what's in? What's in the movie is accurate. Okay. Uh, Bob Mitchell does stay in touch with people that are tracking them. Uh, in Canadian law enforcement, so they both went to university when they got out, and one of them is applying to law school this year. Great. And then, um, Georgie, for you, uh, what was like the most challenging aspect of this movie, or this role? I think it was very difficult to be playing a real-life person without actually knowing anything about her, because obviously her identity is protected. So, um, that was quite interesting. And obviously it was a big departure from stuff I've done before. Um, I guess a lot of the challenges came from just putting myself into situations that I'd never been in before, but that was, you know, really exciting as an actor. And I definitely learned a lot in a very short time. <laughs> um, it was a really great experience making the movie. It was great. Great. Yeah, you were terrific in it, as Thank was you. Abigail. I mean, you and Abigail have this great chemistry on screen. Yeah. and. Uh, how did you two go about developing that? It was funny because we'd never met before. Obviously, we live on we live in different countries. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, we actually had a little bit of time before we started filming, and we just did stuff like we would all go out to dinner together. We went to go see Wicked, um, and kind of bonded over you know singing show tunes together. <laughs> um, you know, just stuff like that. And you know, we both had this um, really open mind going into it, and we wanted to be supportive to each other. Um, so yeah, we, we just wanted to make it as easy as possible for each other, but I'm really proud of the chemistry between us on, on screen. Great. And then, uh, Snap, for you, um, what was the challenges for you in making this movie? Well, obviously, anytime you're dealing with a true crime piece, you don't want to have villains and, and heroes. You want to try and make it as complex and complicated as possible. So the, the challenge for me was taking two teenage girls that were going to commit the ultimate sin and keep them sympathetic from start to finish. And, uh, and that's what I wanted to try and do, is make everybody a victim and everybody a perpetrator. Mom was obviously a victim, a single mom fighting addiction. On the other hand, she was not protecting her daughters. And the daughters were going to make a decision, even though it might be justified that they needed a way out, the way they chose was wrong. Yes. Yes, and it's just, it's interesting to see the dynamic between the two sisters change throughout the movie. It's like Abigail's character is the responsible one at the beginning trying to control things, and then towards the end, your character really starts to sort of put, a, put her foot down and say, look, you can't talk about this, you can't talk about that. What was it like doing that transition? I, it was one of my favorite aspects of the script, um, especially when I even just read it for the first time. The idea of the narration of the film just changing, and you don't even notice that it changes. Um, it's really interesting. Um, I definitely felt like um, I definitely felt like it was kind of cool because I'm a younger sister myself, but Abby is actually younger than me, so we both kind of got to take aspects of who we actually are and put them into our characters. It was cool. Make her take a bath <laughs> and make it look like she drowned. The whole school is talking about what happened. 